Hello, I am Seamus Dunahu of EVE University, and this is episode 16 of How to Survive EVE Online. Uh, for reference, it's been several hours since I did the last recording. So, Mechanic 3 and Survey 3 have both finished training, so what I am going to do is scroll down, inject one of my salvaging skill books, and in case you forgot how to open the training queue, let's left-click Character Sheet on the Neocom, and go to the Skills section, Skills tab, Open Skill Queue. And Salvaging is under Mechanic, so just drag Salvaging right above Galente Frigate, like that. You can't put it underneath if you've still got more than one day left, because your last skill in the queue has to start within 24 hours. So let's bring salvaging in mm, three levels for now. And let's click apply. And let's close this window. Oh! Uh, you know what? A better skill for you to probably work on is probably engineering, since that's going to give you more power grid to work with. Let's click apply and let's close this window. Alright, go to Neocom Journal, the Agents tab, Mission Subtab, Making Mountains of Molehills 6 of 10, and Start Conversation. The agent wants us to manufacture 20 units of Cap Booster 25, and it's going to provide us with a blueprint, and if you left click the blueprint, you will see uh, each run of this blueprint makes 10 Cap Booster 25s. So we need to do a couple of runs of this. Under the Bill of Materials, you will notice that it needs uh, some titanium. We've got more than enough. We're going to need double the amount listed for you. So we need 422. We've got that. Pyrite, we're going to need 51 per run. That's 102 total. We've got that. What we're missing is the Mexilon. So right-click the Mexilon and view market details and find the cheapest in station. Here it's 37 ISK. If I wanted to get some cheaper stuff I could go a couple of jumps out to Vey. But if you're gonna go to another solar system, right-click that location, set destination, go to any of the objects in this link and add waypoint, and you could go shopping. But I'm not going to bother with that, so I'm going to remove this waypoint. So right click the cheapest in station. I'm going to buy 32 of this and click buy. It's only a thousand isk or so. And I'll close the market. Let's accept the mission. And if we scroll down to the bottom of the items, uh, bottom of the items hanger, right click the blueprint, go to manufacturing, pick an installation, change the range to current region, and apparently all of my local assembly lines are busy. Right. I'm going to have to take this over to Luce for manufacturing. Great. Set destination. Close that window. Cancel that. Alright, since we're going to have to move, uh, let me get started on the sixth step of the business chain as well. I'm going to take care of two things at once here. Loit Mencier wants one unit of tracking computer. He doesn't care how we get it, but the easiest way is to get it off the market. Right click, view market details, find the cheapest in station, right click, buy this, buy one, close the market, accept Loic Tementier's mission. The game will talk to you about, will give you text to read about the market, and will also give you a couple of extra skill books one of which you can inject right now tra and train that to level one. Yes, which skill training. 
All right, we bought the tracking computer already, so just complete his mission. So now we just go over to the Luce solar system. Let's load the cap booster, the Mexilon. Uh, we don't need all of the tritanium, just some of it. We don't need all the pyrite, just some of it. Let me double check the amounts I need. Yeah, that looks right. I'm bringing a little extra just in case. Right-click Clelamon, add waypoint. Let's close and let's undock. So as I'm filling this, all of the assembly lines in my station are busy. So I have to, I'm going to have to go one station over to do this. So reverse the sort on distance, left-click the Stargate, warp to zero, you know how to do that. I have skipped ahead to the point in the video where I just jumped into the say solar system. I forgot which station has the manufacturing slots. Only one of these stations do, so I'm going to go to science and industry again. Uh, the installations tab. Left click Luce. Ah, here we go. Luce 6, Moon 1. I'm going to right click. I'm going to right click that. Oh, you must be kidding me. Um. I'm going to put my mouse over the line, then move it over so the tooltip doesn't move, right click, and dock. Warp drive active. Now this manufacturing job, at least according to the blueprint, is only going to take about two minutes per run. Let me double check that. Show info on the blueprint. Attributes. Manufacturing time, U, 1 minute 39 seconds. So this will take about mm, a little over 3 minutes Talking to do 2 runs. Requested. Additionally, it's worth noting this is a blueprint copy. So it's only got 2 Talking licensed requested. production runs Accepted. remaining. Once I put it through the 2 runs in a manufacturing slot, the blueprint copy will disappear. There are blueprint originals available for ordinary stuff, generally referred to as Tech 1. Uh, I will probably cover that in a topical video after the series. So, let's drag the stuff down into the station item hanger. Right click the blueprint, manufacturing, let's pick an installation. Here we go. I'll pick that one. Put two runs. Remember each run makes 10 of these things and you need 20. So two runs, click OK, click accept quote. And you can go do something else if you wanted to for the next three minutes. I don't have anything better to do, so I'm going to wait here for the job to complete. In the Science and Industry window, you can go to the Jobs tab, click the Get Jobs button, left-click the Manufacturing Job in Progress, and you've got, right now I've got two and a half minutes waiting on it. I will skip ahead to the video in the video to when this is done. I've skipped ahead to the point in the video where the manufacturing job has completed. So I am going to left click the job in question, left click deliver, and that will drop the cap boosters into the items hangar. Now, in order to complete this mission, I need to give these to the agent in Clelamon. So, let's load everything, let's left click once in the item hanger, hit control A to select all, click and drag, and let's head back. Left click the stargate, warp to zero. Warp drive active. And you know how to skill jump through a Stargate. Completed. Ah, skill training completed. Enjoy listening to those words now because uh, as you uh, get several months into the game, you're going to start training multi-day skills. I've skipped ahead in the video to where I've just docked up back in the station in Klolanon. Uh Let's move our minerals back down 
and also drop off the cap boosters. Let's talk to Hoover start conversation. Everything is green check marks, so go ahead and complete the mission. In the next episode, we will handle the seventh step of the business chain, because Industry 7 and Business 8 are both courier missions. In the meantime, thank you for watching.